So you need to go and search for Maven Download for Mac and go to the official website. There you will find a binary GunZip archive, which is recommended for a Mac or a Linux machine because it supports the file system uh, for those operating systems. So go ahead and download it. And to save some time, I have already downloaded it. Uh, it's in my download section, right? Now uh, we need to unzip this file. And for that, we need to type some commands. And so we have to first launch the terminal on your Mac, right? So it is uh, just a bash. Uh, it accepts the bash commands. So we need to type some commands and I'm going to take it from here so that I don't have to type them. Uh, if you want to uh, find these commands, these are present at uh, qscript.com. Uh, and uh, that if you go to Maven tutorials, you will find how to set up Maven on Mac. And you can easily copy these commands into your terminal, right? So I have copied this. Uh, let's paste it. So what it does is it unzips this gunzip file into the user directory, right? Now I'm not going to uh, enter this because I've already done that and it's already present in my user directory. So if you see um, the Apache Maven 3.6.2, right? So if I cd into that directory, right? And I do a LSL, so I can see uh, all the folders and files uh, within this folder, uh, within this Apache Maven 3.6.2. Now, if you want to, uh, yeah, you should go to the bin directory because we'll need that part and do a PWD uh, to know where you are present. So this is the part to the bin directory. We will need this uh, at later stages when we set the environment variable. So now the next step is to update the bash profile, right? So I'll just copy this command and I will paste it here and enter. So it will take me to the bash profile. Now, if you're doing it for the first time, you will not see these first two lines because we need to add them into this batch profile. Um, just copy it from here and paste it here. So once you paste it here, now you need to save and exit this file, right? If you don't know how to do it, uh, you have to type colon and WQ. So it is going to save and quit this file. Right, so my batch profile uh, is saved uh, with the new lines added to the profile. For uh, there are two uh, two lines. One is exporting the home directory of Maven, and the other is exporting the path. Now this is pretty similar to what we have done for Windows, but the only difference is here uh, the process is little different. You need to type everything uh, into the terminal and in Windows you can directly go to uh, that section and change it, right? Now, uh, once this is done, your Maven is already set up, right? Now, just one thing we need to do is we need to check whether our Java is installed properly, right? So let's see, yes. So as you can see, my Java uh, is already set up. It's uh, Java version 13. Uh, if it is not, uh, then you can go ahead and set up Java in a similar way we did for Maven. So we need to now um, restart the terminal to take, uh, so that the changes will take into effect, right? So close the terminal and start it again. Now the changes should have uh, been into effect. 
Now to check whether MVN is installed properly, uh, you should do MVN version, right? And it, sh it should show you the latest version of Maven installed on your Mac or a Linux machine. So mine is 3.6.2. Uh, your version could be different uh, when, you, when you have downloaded uh, this Maven version. And then it will show you uh, the Maven Home, uh, the Java version, uh, the runtime path, etc. So that's all for this short video on setting up Maven on a Mac machine.